familiar at what the destroyer is. It is a planet used in a biblical timeline to destroy the wicked off of the earth. Believe that or not, it is our climate change. It is also our global warming. In times gone past, according to the scriptures, the same planet flew over and it is the thing that helped part the Red Sea. It is also the thing that made the ocean disappear in the Bahamas recently. It also was the thing that rained down uh, hard brimstone on the towns of Sodom and Gomorrah. We are now seeing the end time event on our horizon. And out of nowhere, you know, this thing is suddenly going to show itself like a sun. And what is written is, is that it is going to enter in at top speed and it is going to make a loud bang noises. The heavens will be shaken and the earth will shake violently and keep shaking. It's not going to stop shaking. And then meteorites are going to be flung down on the enemies of the Most High God. Every meteorite sent down is arranged for a targeted center, believe it or not. God is sending so many warning signs right here all over the world. If you look real close, you can see the stripes in that, which is, it is a stripe plan and the stripes are the clouds. So this thing is coming in clouds, right? And basically the children of Israel in the Exodus saw this thing flashing in the night as well and it was a guide for the children of Israel. This uh, uh, fire engulfed in a cloud, which the world calls Nibiru, which I know is planet hell, meaning when the Bible states that hell, which is this planet, will be thrown in a lake of fire, it is going into that planet. That planet is massive. It is going to take up a fifth part of the sky when it totally shows itself at the appointed time and everybody and every knee will bend to the most high God on that day. Repent.